Right, so uh, welcome to the second half of uh, Professor Scatter's talk on uh, Catalan uh, varieties. Please take it away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is really a bit a difficult situation. Catalan variety, we, we changed the title because Catalan variety was already defined. So, <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> let me try to say something. So, Nico, let me try to write the Dinkin diagram. So, in type A, uh, N minus one, but anyway, we have something like this. And we have fundamental weights. And this is supposed to be epsilon one, uh, the standard choice, plus epsilon two. And this is supposed to be epsilon one plus epsilon n minus one. But uh, if we consider everything as DL1, uh, we will have pi n that is supposed to be this one. This one is basically the determinant characters. And uh, if we affinize the situation, and so imagine that we have uh, some extra vertex and uh, something like this, then we get the affine uh, thinking diagram. Here it's uh, actual things. And we would like to have lambda zero, lambda one, lambda two, and lambda n. And uh, so far, we, uh, we have some lift of the whole situation from here to here. Uh, yes, so this defines some, um, uh, so non-standard. Because uh, what the, the reason I call non-standard is that so this determinant character usually does nothing on this uh, real algebra, uh, simple real algebra theory, so it should not correspond to something uh, something like this. But this time uh, we consider we prefer this kind of things. So uh, so in other words, our non-standard non lift sends lambda is supposed to be m i of pi i i equal one to n to lambda that is supposed to be i equal one to n of m i of lambda pi. So this is a non-standard lift. And the theorem. So, so sorry, is it a typo that you only have n minus one on the left hand side and you have n oh, on the right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, so sorry. Yes. Uh, as, as a writer, uh, as a writer, this doesn't give bisection. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Most fun. And what they call uh, rotation theorem. Is that so? Particular case of this one. So this is the dick pass. So maximum one, uh, which I explained to uh, Leonard a few, a few minutes before, uh, this is written like this. So here, many uh, many brackets are supposed to be closed, and uh, where uh, 
di a de maggiore operetta and so this is uh, so and e of e of lambda uh, some character upon maybe uh, something like that so anyway so the so I, I need to explain but somehow the effect of the module function the module operator of f is supposed to be somehow f minus uh, si of f i for alpha i is some root a uh, simple root index indexed by i Nodal i and in general, oh, sorry, for general, so we remove some of this from some region like uh, here, 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 and here, and add extra D in another thing here, and that is supposed to be here. And uh, it's not so easy to tell uh, what, what happens, but uh, let me try to um, figure, um, figure out uh, what happens in example. So n is supposed to be five, and we would like to take somehow zero, 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 and uh, we would like to have uh, some extra things. So, the things are uh, something uh, like uh, this. In this situation, if you write down the four things, it's uh, it, <laughs> mm. Oh, sorry. I, I I'm still on the way. So uh, maybe you notice uh, five or n is frequently uh, n is frequently. Anyway, so we are supposed to uh, see the boxes here, and uh, this the effect of this is to supposed to uh, erase some of them like this and this and this, and try to put some. Uh, add, add some extra D. This is what happens in a uh, uh, rotation theorem. And the reason uh, they call the rotation theorem is that, so this one, 
and this one and this one and this one and this one uh, somehow change uh, shifting uh, some index by one by one and this is the effect uh, this can be rewriting in terms of the affine thinking diagram automorphism that rotates the, uh, the circle but uh, and somehow we have um, get get rid of rid of this thing in order to analyze uh, the situation so far you, question. yes who is m5 sorry yes this coefficient m5 because you have lived in m1 m2 m3 m4 but the who is m5 here m m5 is this one so so this one so so this is this one determinant character we make a non-standard lift so the determinant character of this one uh, has a law in affine thinking diagram I mean, originally we have M1 until M4, right? No, 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 M5, N equal five. No, M, M, I mean the coefficient of fundamental weight. Yes, M1, one, two. And it's five, we have four fundamental weight, right? Yeah, four fundamental weight, but we have five fundamental affine weight. But how you have this lifting as the node? Hmm? Lifting, but I'm we, we started from this one. We started some effect with the determinant of uh, the determinants. We can artificially add the lambda to the determinant ideal, and this has no effect in, uh, uh, this has practical no effect when considering things in X, but uh, it can have some meaning uh, if we try to compactify or something like that. Hello. Is this uh, capital lambda? Uh, capital, capital lambda is an affine weight, and that will lift to this small coefficient lambda. coefficient of lambda zero? Right? Zero? Lambda zero is the, the coefficient of, ah. Does this make sense? Does this make sense for you now? <laughs> no, not so much. But uh, sorry, for type yes. A, we have n minus one vertices, right? Yes, yes. So, so, so this, this, this is we have n vertices. This one. So, so, yeah, we, have so we, we see that to this determinant character as the n's, but the, the final vertex. Yeah. Of course, this is not the true. But uh, nevertheless, if you consider the weight, uh, weight consideration, it is reasonable. Ah, okay, 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 fine. So this, this lifting is only for type A, okay. Fine. Uh, unfortunately, yes. Okay. So let me try to do geometric realization. So di uh, is in fact, uh, this is support the demagil operator. Uh, this is the effect. Of something called the demagil functor. Called di. And uh, so E of uh, lambda i, uh, this is uh, the character of modules, uh, character of somehow uh, total modules. Maybe they're just a character. So it means that, so we can replace Uh, some di uh, to di and e lambda i to tensor product 
of the corresponding character uh, yields some module that called M psi of lambda such that uh, H of psi of lambda, this is supposed to be the greatest character of M of psi of lambda. And in addition, so if we examine the construction, uh, we can say So direct sum of lambda in P plus of M of psi of lambda is a link. And such that if we consider the approach of this construction, so approach direct sum of this one, Torus. So this means the this torus is something like the character is. is supposed to be uh, E. And this is uh, action, torus action, this free. So this is a generalization of the usual construction of projective spaces in algebraic geometry. And we can co consider this one. And what we can say formally is that, so if we write like this X of psi, and uh, for formally, formal consideration says that X psi is projective and uh, normal algebraic variety and so on, such that plus uh, there exists line bundle O X psi of lambda. Such that H zero uh, graded the character of H zero of X psi of O of X psi of lambda dual is supposed to be H of psi of lambda. So and uh, this says that um, this uh, X psi and uh, its line bundles are uh, natural candidate. So this X psi and O of X psi lambda may have something to do Has may have something. Sorry. Do with x x psi of x, but uh, its relation is not so clear because just having a, a normal algebraic variety is not sufficient to uh, say some uh, some something. So, and the point is that, so in the rotation theorem, expression, it is not easy to
precise uh, information about x prime. It is just it, it just says that we have a successive p1 uh, vibration that map to x psi, but uh, we do not know which two points are supposed to collide and so on, and that to use some uh, that might produce some singularities and so on. But uh, if we try to tweak this expression, we can rewrite rotation theorem. actually uh, into the following form. Uh, so some, some, something in the, some, something coming from here. And, but so the next terms are very specific. So M1, lambda one, and D zero, D four, D three, D two, that is the same as original, but now M2, lambda two, D zero, D four, D three, of M3, lambda three, D one, D zero, D four, sorry, E of M4, lambda four, D two, D1, D0, E of M5, lambda zero. So what is it? What is it? So instead of doing this, so in the in the rotation theorem ex, ex, expression, so this these two are so these two are not uh, common together, but uh, we can uh, we can try to uh, modify this uh, this rotation theorem uh, by using some, some blade relations and so on to make up some other expression such that uh, these uh, weights are supposed to be uh, paired together. And uh, so th this kind of somehow uh, rewriting uh, makes the situation a little bit better um, because uh, somehow um, some of the indices, like somehow 0, 1, 0, 1, and uh, some 0, 4, 0, 4, and uh, common on each other. So this particular uh, um, implies the following description. That is our main theorem. So, if we do, uh, if we carry out this uh, another expression, we can show that x psi this successive projective space bundle in particular. It is smooth. So if we know the if we know some specific variety is smooth, then we can try to uh, do, uh, carry out some tangent space con con comparison and so on to uh, say something. And uh, if we do this, we get the following. So this one this actually a sub variety, an open subset of this one. This uh, C star attracting point hmm. set of X sitting inside of X psi, and this is. Um, this is a particular connected component. Oh, sorry, maybe I will put this one is supposed to be particular connected component.
And this sister, uh, is, uh, this sister is still, may, maybe it is better to recall, and this is a grading. Affinity algebra. And this consideration uh, make us possible to say that if we, consider, if we consider the cohomology of t star x and pi star of psi of O x of lambda, that is something we are supposed to consider. And this uh, is actually uh, the union of cohomology of x of psi of O of x psi of lambda. Um, this is not a coincidence, but we can compare the character to show, show that these are uh, related by restriction. And this, uh, oh no, this, not this one, so, sorry, plus m of pi n tensorize out by c of m of pi n uh, in order to uh, in order to remove the effect of determinant twist. And this is particularly zero for uh, i is not and uh, lambda in p plus. So, and we can, uh, so we, we can conclude that uh, something, uh, uh, so we can conclude that somehow the, the, the vanishing part Of something something uh, predicted by Shimogono Weimar and Chen and Hyman. And this part says that so, and this divisor is. The component defines component and maybe uh, this is uh, what I wanted to explain today and it is better to stop here and uh, I'm happy to discuss a little bit more after uh, uh, after finishing the, this session all right well thank you very much for a wonderful talk